Does a baby make a relationship or a marriage more difficult and more challenging? In today's episode, that's what we're going to be discussing. Let's talk about it. So many couples go in with the intentions of wanting children someday. That's what a lot of couples have aspirational goals for. Mm -hmm. And whether you're a year into the relationship, five years, 10 years, at some point for most relationships and definitely with marriages, they want kids. Mm -hmm. And that's a great goal to have and something that you should aspire for if that's the the option and the if if that's what you want to go for Mm -hmm. but a lot of times there is a difference between wanting children Mm -hmm. and then also the responsibility of having children Mm -hmm. and what it entails yeah for sure like it's because when you have children and and we're learning this as new parents it is life's trans it's, it's a life transformation right and for some they still want to completely have their old lives mm-hmm. and add a child when essentially when you have a child and I mean it changes as your child gets older but your life revolves around your child because they're solely dependent on you for everything at least in the beginning stages of yeah. parenthood so I'm not saying it's the the entire time but you know this child is solely relying on you for everything so your priority becomes your child mm-hmm. and so I think there's oftentimes a disconnect because people want to have their old life, but still have this baby there as well. And not understanding that it is going to take adaptability. It's right. going to take um, changing your lifestyle, right. changing your lifestyle. And with that comes challenges and challenges will be presented in your marriage. You know, challenges will arise um, in parenthood. Um, so to answer your question, Absolutely. 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 Um, having a child changes the nature of your relationship and your marriage. But, and does it, but the question is, does it make it harder? Oh, 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 sorry. To answer your question, absolutely. Absolutely. Still absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> Again, um, it definitely makes it harder because you are now tasked with raising this child, you right. know? And so as much as your marriage is your baby, your baby is your baby too. Exactly. So what you would you to say? manage both. Yeah. What would you say is some of the major reasons why it makes the relationship mm-hmm. or the marriage harder? Um, again, I think it goes back to what I said initially. It's that people don't understand how um, life changing it is. And that see, oh, there's the baby. <laughs> So as you can see, we added a a new person to (laughs) the podcast today. Um, And to go back to what I was saying before is adaptability and understanding lifestyle changes. Like we're in the middle of filming a podcast and before we could easily just knock out two and three videos and go and it just be this fluid thing. But now we have to understand that there's a lot of pauses and and bumps when it comes to parenthood. This is a perfect example. Perfect example. (laughs) We were in the middle of filming this podcast episode and baby started crying. Yeah. we thought we, we could get squeeze one in while he's taking a nap. So we had to halt plans, <laughs> had to halt everything, and tend to the baby. Exactly. And this is uh, an example of what life as a parent, a new parent, is because you're not, you can't just get up and move and do things the way that you did things previously when it, when it mm-hmm. was just you two as a couple. Now it's you two in a, as a couple. Mm-hmm bringing along plus yeah bringing along this baby who (laughs) is just so adorable (laughs) but it just makes things harder you know exactly Um, and then it really just comes down to um the changes the changes of everything because you know for us we have been together for 13 years so Mm -hmm. for 13 of those years it's been just us two managing and navigating life yeah as us just us Now with a baby, it's like, okay, now where do we, where, like everything that we do revolves around him and exactly, and he knows that. And I think, you know, that, that can become challenging because if you're used to moving in a way where it's just you two, and now you have to factor in all the challenges that presents with even just, you know, now having a child, as far as like, you know, your sleep habits change, Mm -hmm. um, 
your time management significantly changes. Mm-hmm. Um, your communication, as far as like trying to co-parent and figure out the best solution for like when there's challenges presented just with him developing as a baby, mm-hmm. you know, that arises. And so I think that there's absolutely challenges. And then also understanding that when you do have a child, um, although it's temporary, things get put on the back burner and you have to shift your priorities and, you know, our marriage is of course always a priority, but right now Jordan is more of, I don't want to say like more of a priority, but our marriage has taken a little bit of a back burner, uh, back burner when it comes to certain things. It's not just like throw the marriage out the way, you know what I mean? But in terms of like quality time, we may not be able to get date night as much as we used to get Mm -hmm. date night before. So now it's like, okay, instead of going out on a date a couple times a month now is maybe once a month or once every few months you know we have to just kind of shift a little bit and these are temporary changes but it can be difficult yeah and i think the first year of the first year is always going to be very difficult because everything is so new Mm -hmm. and it's really about adjusting as a Mm -hmm. couple Mm -hmm. when both people can adjust and be able to manage and navigate right uh, this new life together Mm -hmm. that's where real relationships really can flourish right. and, and, and get past that because mm-hmm. that first year is going to be difficult because right. of all of these changes. Mm-hmm. But a real relationship that has staying power, that mm-hmm. has longevity, and that has real love mm-hmm. doesn't focus so much on how different things are and right. how challenging things are. Right. It's like, how can we get through the challenges? Right. How can we get through the adjustments and and adjust together. Right. And I think that really all comes down to communicating together. Right. Because in order to be able to make these as a joint unit, Mm -hmm. the communication has to be there so that both people are on the same understanding of what needs to be done on a daily basis. And to do it together. Yeah. yeah. As well as teamwork. Teamwork is is huge. Teamwork is so important. I think understanding that you're on the same team and I, and it's something that you just said, uh, I'm just, you know, my mom brain, so I'm trying not to let it slip away. Um, but you said not focusing on the challenges, but figuring out how to work through it together. And I think that's so important because it's not like you're saying just completely like mm-hmm. ignore that the challenges are there. It's more so addressing the challenges. And if you do experience like, oh, spit up, Oops. spit up, so you said not focusing on the challenges but focusing on how to get through it together as a couple and Mm -hmm. i think that that is so important because you're not saying ignore the challenges as they come it's saying like how do we work through this together and teamwork is so important like at the end of the day remembering that we're both parents to this child and we're on the same team. Like right. we have the same outcome and that is to have a happy baby, to make sure he's safe, to make sure he's in a thriving environment. Mm-hmm. And when difficulties arise, you know, with the sleepless nights and, you know, maybe the baby's sick or, you know, he's having a, he or she's having a hard time with something just as a baby, these new things that, that happen, it's very easy to keep score. Yeah. And want to say, well, I did this and you didn't do that and you did this and you didn't do that. And I even fell victim to it recently. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? Like nobody's perfect, but it's so important to always communicate and say like, hey, this is not what we want to do. And at the end of the day, we're on the same team. Like our job is to work together to make sure he's happy. Right. And that actually, I'm glad that you brought that point up because that made me also think about, um, we did a video maybe a couple of months ago, mm-hmm. um, where Barack and uh, Barack and Michelle, well, well, actually, it was just Michelle on it the podcast. It was just Michelle, and Michelle. she was on a podcast. She was talking about the early years of their relationship when they first had their their first kids, mm-hmm. and she said for the ten years of their relationship, she disliked Barack. Ten years of their relationship because of the kids, because she was keeping score. That's what the the main thing was, right? Mm-hmm. And, and, and don't get me wrong, especially as moms, we have so much on our, our brains that I don't think that fathers truly understand that. And so, you know, like I said, I felt, you know, I fell victim to it recently, or not victim to it, but I fell in that as well of keeping score because 
as a mom, we have so many things racing through our heads. You know, it's not, it's more than just like, oh, you got to feed the baby. You got to do this. And so oftentimes we're very overstimulated. And so I think that it's easy to at times want to keep score because it's just like I am juggling so many things. Right you know, as a mom and trying to, you know, not only do stuff for the baby, but I'm dealing with postpartum as a mom, you know, we're dealing with postpartum, um, postpartum challenges, postpartum, our body trying to get our bodies normalized again. Um, and that's physically, mentally, emotionally. Um, and, you know, showing up and being present in your marriage and being present as a mom and being right. present for yourself and being present in the workplace. And so oftentimes that can get really overwhelming. And I think it's easy for us to want to keep score because it's like if we're dealing with all of these things and you can't do this one thing or you've only done two things and I've already done 20, that's a problem. But it's really not a problem it's just the problem is there hasn't been any communication around it because if you are feeling like you've done 20 things and your partner's only done two, then say something to help lessen the load. And I think as moms, we, you know, that's, that, that at times it's easier said than done, um, but that can cause resentment in the relationship and therefore, you know, cause problems in the relationship and cause there to be more turmoil because that builds that resentment. Right. And when I, you're when you keep score. Exactly. And I think we, we, we had that conversation early on in our parenthood or probably even before the parenthood that we understand that there's going to be challenging times yeah. when it comes to raising him. And the responsibility will not always be 50 50 and more of the responsibility, unfortunately, but the the reality is is going to be on you sometimes and i think the whole keeping score thing can get really challenging for the relationship because of what you said because the resentment or because of you know you're keeping score over a week over a month over however long mm-hmm. and all of that those tallies start to add up to a point where it then start things start to boil over. Mm-hmm. And no, that's where a relationship starts to fall apart or that they have start to have some disagreements mm-hmm. that can be avoided because it really comes down to the communication mm-hmm. and making sure that you don't get to that point. Right. Um, and I also think, too, it's important that that goes along with um, communication is that sometimes... When it comes down to communication, all communication isn't verbal. There's nonverbal communication as well. And I think it's very important to also pick up on your partner's body language Mm -hmm. and cues to try and understand what their needs are before certain things happen. You know, I know with Shane, sometimes he can read my body language and he'll be like, oh, I already know she's starting to feel overwhelmed or she's starting to feel you know, a certain emotion, how can I be available? How can I be of service? How can I help to um, make sure that she feels supported? Mm -hmm. And I think, again, that goes back to teamwork. It goes back to communication, whether it's verbal, nonverbal. And that's so important because sometimes, and I I think that I want to say this because when it comes to motherhood, it's so complex that I don't think Fathers Fathers understand it it sometimes, and that can bring challenges, the difficulty in a relationship or in a marriage. Motherhood is so complex, and sometimes we have so much going on. It goes back to what I was saying is that sometimes we can't always communicate what we need you to do because we just don't want to think about something else. We just need you to be present to understand our energy sometimes and also understanding that like, Hey, how can I be proactive in this situation? Like look around the house and just say like, Hey, mom seems very busy. She's having some challenges with the baby. Oh, the baby's laundry isn't done. I can take care of that. Or baby hasn't had a bottle yet. Let me go make a bottle for the baby and to help alleviate some of that stress. Um, And I think that that will also help too, because then it's not so much of the, keeping score score. and then it's teamwork it's a collective it's a collective effort and that's and that's definitely something that we as men 
and as fathers sometimes Mm -hmm. can lack in um, just overall because for the majority of people, for the majority of, of relationships, the natural nurture mm-hmm. is the mother. Right. And the father is less of a nurturer, basically. Mm-hmm. And I think sometimes because it doesn't come as natural for the men and for fathers, we have to have more of a concerted effort. Of course. More of a concerted effort to put in that nurturing role Mm -hmm. and also be able there be able to be there for your partner, Mm -hmm. be there for your wife, but be that nurturer for your baby as well. Mm -hmm. And figure out, you know, what does your baby need Mm -hmm. on a daily basis or on a hourly basis? Like being able to support the baby, but also in that moment of supporting your baby, you're also supporting your wife. You're supporting mm-hmm. your partner. Mm-hmm. And those little things that you do. Bless you. Bless you. Those little things that you do make a huge difference. Yes. For the mother mm-hmm. of the child. Yeah. Because they see that you're putting in all the small little things mm-hmm. to help the baby. Mm-hmm. But also helping you right. along the way. Right. Because that is what really the mother is asking for she's asking for help she's support asking, mm-hmm. she's asking for support and she's asking for you to be there mm-hmm. present not only as a father you know for you know basketball games and sporting right. events and right. all that stuff she's asking you to do the small things too changing the pamper feeding him knowing when to feed him mm-hmm. being there in the middle of the night right all of these little small things might seem minute but they really mean a lot to the mother. They mean a lot. They 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 certainly do, and it helps lessen the load. And I think lessen the load. Yep. To to lessen the load, and so to kind of circle back to the question at hand, the question that we posed is: Does a baby make a relationship or marriage harder? And the answer to that question is absolutely. Mm-hmm. But you can get through it. Right. And you know the challenge. Oh, I'm sorry. I was no, I was oh. gonna say, but you can get through it. It's going to be difficult. Um, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that you can't come out on the other side just because challenges arise, you know, yeah. because it's a new thing. It's right. it's a new chapter that you're stepping into. So it's never going to be easy when you step into a new chapter that's so foreign. You don't, you know, there's all the books in the world can't fully prepare you mm-hmm. for parenthood. Right. And so there's going to be challenges along the way. And as in turn, those challenges will have an effect on your relationship. Yeah. It will have an effect on your marriage, but it's important that, you know, the people in it have to do the work as well and understand that, okay, we're in a rough spot or, okay, there's some, cha- there's some challenges right now that we're, that we're dealing. What mm-hmm. can we do? as a team to make sure we're still having this collaborative effort as parents, but we're not forgetting each other in the marriage. Like we're still showing up in our marriage and we're still showing up in the relationship. And that can be hard because at times it will get put on the back burner. You know, you will have to shift priorities, but um, understanding that you guys are a team, you have to have clear communication. And I think understanding going into it, understanding that there will be challenges i think that that um right there is part of part of overcoming the battle yeah i think understanding that there's going to be challenges and understanding that you're letting go of part of your old self and your old lifestyle and you have to welcome this new chapter and that's really the point that i was going to make when it comes to the challenges Know that it's a challenge, right? but treat it as a challenge. Mm-hmm. Say, this is the motivating factor for you to want to get over this hump, mm-hmm. to get over this challenge, mm-hmm. to get over this obstacle. Mm-hmm. Because when you look at it like that and you say, okay, this is a new stage of our relationship mm-hmm. and there's going to be challenges along the way. Right. I'm embracing those challenges. Right. And when you embrace those challenges, then you work together as a team so mm-hmm. that you guys can get through it. Exactly. And as long as you guys can get through that first year, those first couple of years, then you should be gravy after that because it's like, all right, we've, we've, we've adapted at this point to this new life. Mm -hmm. We've adapted to a life with a child now and we've gotten through the newborn stage, through the 
four or five month uh, sleep, regression. sleep regression. We've gotten through the teething stage. We've gotten through the stage of him starting to walk and then trying to baby proof everything. <laughs> like when you can get through all of these different um, beginning stages of life in this new chapter of life for you as, as partners, mm -hmm. then ah. as the years go on, then you start to realize like, okay, I can continue to do this. Like yeah. you gain more confidence along the journey. A confidence thing for sure. And, and yeah. uh, I think that's where your mindset really has to go. Your mindset has to go as we can get through this first year, we can get through the second year, we can get through the third year and just continue to mm -hmm. have that progression of those steps forward. Right. And as long as you do that, then you're going to have the right mindset. Mm -hmm. Because if you have the mindset of, Oh, this this is just too hard, man. Mm -hmm. I like like everything is way different. Like I like I don't even know who she is anymore. I can't like I can't do this anymore. Mm -hmm. When you start thinking like that, that's when things really start that to fall apart. Mindset. Yeah, so with all of that said, we really hope that you guys find value from this video and understand that challenges will arise as new parents. It will show up in your marriage. It will show up in relationships. But it's important to remember that you guys are a team at the end of the day. It's a collaborative effort on both parts. And understanding that, you know, there will be changes in the relationship. There will be changes because there's a shift in priorities. But you can overcome it. You can get through it. You just have to remember that you're on the same team. You have to communicate and you have to have that end goal in mind that we're here to we're we love each other we're in this together and our ultimate goal is to create a happy long-lasting marriage um because at the end of the day a happy marriage is something that your child is going to see as well with the way you communicate all of those things your child will be witness to it right and that is the mindset that you need to have that is it right there so we're going to close it out. My name is Shane. I'm Jen. And this is The Yam Boris. Bye, everyone. And remember to find joy in the journey. Peace. Say bye. Jordan, you want to say bye? You want to say, it's Jordan. It's Jordan. It's Jordan. <laughs> yeah. Say oh, your booka booka yeah. booka. Say uh -huh. bye. Building a happy home. Yeah. Building a happy marriage. Building a happy family. All of those things take day in and day out work. Like yeah. you said, it's about those routines. It's about those habits. And building those healthy habits provides you the responsibility for you to pour into your marriage, to pour into your relationship, and to pour into yourself. 